Hello and welcome to Hattrick's Weekly Race Guide. A very warm welcome to the channel where we give you all the information on the latest GT7 daily races. And this week we've got a very exciting combination at race A. It is Kyoto Driving Park, Miyabi, um, and we've got a specified car. Let's have a look to see what that is. It is the Audi TTS Coupe from 2009, a car that was just... Uh, brought into the game a few weeks ago in the last update. Uh, the tyres are one, the fuel is one, it's seven laps and there's 12 cars on the grid with a grid start and a false start check. Now, uh, BOP tuning is mid-speed so that everything is specified. Um, the DR is off but the SR is on and thankfully no pit stops. It's just going to be an all-out race. Let's have a look at how to do a good lap. So here we are with Woody Boy and he did one of the fastest times up there so we'll use his video replay. Now he's coming into the first corner and he's not even braking, he's just kind of backing off slightly. Trying to keep the apex right the way around into fourth gear early on and accelerating out using all the curves and a bit more. And his first sector is the one, uh, sorry, 14.7. And he's getting plenty of curves on the left, almost on the grass. Same with the right curb there on the chicane. And coming right the way through a 24-7 and braking as he comes to the curb. Into third gear, letting the car settle and then accelerating out. Over onto the right, using all the grass and a bit more. And accelerating as straight as he can. And he stays over to the right-hand side of the circuit. And does a 44.598 which is very quick indeed, about a good 8, 9 tenths quicker than I could do. So that's how to do a quick lap at Miami. So here we are on race B. It is Laguna Seca and this time we are in the group 4. It's a rolling start, one times fuel, one times tyre and we're on the racing hard. Uh, the bop again is low speed, you can use a garage or rent and the only settings that you're allowed to change are the brake balance uh, so it's yeah, it's actually quite good that way and of course DR and SR are affected let's go and have a look at how to do a good lap here now we're using Tinchney's lap time here, he did a very very good time so let's see how he does it, so he keeps nice and tight on the left as he comes to start the lap and he's still on the left there, almost touching the green, and he breaks just before the line on the right-hand side that comes out, and it's a nice slow, just keeping it nice and tight in this two apex corner there, and then down into third gear to hit that right-hander, and he's in the Renault Megane, the one that we were using last week, the big spoiler, the rear-wheel drive version, not the front drive version, and nicely taken, just using all the road, watching these curbs, now where will he break here? He's going to break at the two marker and into third gear, holding the left curb and that allows you to accelerate out up the hill. As we go up to the bridge, he's just backing off slightly, keeping it in fourth gear though and keeping as much momentum as he goes through the left hander. It's a tricky corner, coming into braking, he's just doing it just before the three marker and down into second gear for the corkscrew, back up into third gear he gets a 102.2 which is a great time holding it nicely in on the left hander watch you don't take that uh, sausage curve and then stays in fourth as he comes down the right hander as McGann is well settled and suited to the track and he's breaking just after the three board he goes right down into first gear and up into second and then straight off through the gears and this will be into the 27s it's a 127.542 second and a half quicker than I managed on my laps this morning but there's definitely time in it so it's going to be a fun race I actually did one of these this morning um, and it's good fun actually but everyone's going like crazy to overtake as soon as they can so just be aware of that but I think it's a good exciting combination actually I think this could be quite fun better than some of the last group four races we've had in a little while here we are at race C. It's Monza in the group three and it's a rolling start with one times fuel and one times tyre. But you have to do a pit stop. So remember that is what you need to do. If you don't do one, you'll get a penalty. The bop is on high speed. You can rent or use a garage car. And again, the only settings that you're allowed to change are brake balance. 
So let's have a look at how to get a good lap. So here we are. We're following Tinsley again, and he's using the Supra from 1997, the GT500. So that is a quick car. Uh, Tinsley decided to use that this morning. So we're looking for our first break marker, which is just after the 150 board, down into second. Takes a little bit of curb on the right, a little bit on the left, accelerates out nicely. And with the third gear. And then following the road, again, keeping right next to those curbs on the right-hand side, keeping a tight line, keep as much speed as possible, the shortest distance possible. And coming into the next big chicane, and he's braking just after the 150 board. And the second gear takes lots of curb on the left. And a good bit on the right, to be fair, just don't go over that soft curb, I think, otherwise you will get a penalty. And then braking just after the 50 board, keeping it in third gear, and then accelerating out nicely. And then this is the crucial corner. He's braking before the 50 board and keeping it in fourth and accelerating out nicely and not getting the car dragged out onto those curves because it can really slow you down. And on to the back straight, coming into the Ascari chicane under the bridge. Now, where will he break? After, a good bit after the 150 board, really between the 100 and the 150. Keeps it in fourth gear, holding on to those curves and accelerating out. A very quick time indeed. Of course, Tijney is an expert, a World Series driver, and he's getting faster and faster, showing exactly what he can do. And he's breaking after the 100 board, down into third gear, then back into fourth, and then accelerating out, watching not to go too far out on the left. In fact, he actually cuts nicely back into the inside to complete his lap. He's going right over that, almost into the pit lane, right next to the wall, and gets a 148.205. That's a very, very good lap. So there you have it, race A, B and C. There's some good combinations. Let me know what you think. And if you like the content, then please consider subscribing. It's greatly appreciated. Take care, everyone. Drive fast, then drive your bus even faster. Bye to south.